Given that x is a real number, our goal in this question is to solve for the value of x that satisfies this equation x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1 over x cubed plus 1 over x squared plus 1 over x equals 28. Pause the video right now and see if you can answer this question. And if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, now, x here is a real number that satisfies this equation. Then, our goal is to solve for the value of x. Now, to answer this question, what we're going to do is to rearrange some terms a little bit. So, let's combine x cubed plus 1 over x cubed, x squared plus 1 over x squared, and x plus 1 over x. Now, here's the reason. Because if we square x plus 1 over x, we get a result of x squared plus 2 plus 1 over x squared. Now, rearrange some terms a little bit. We get that x squared plus 1 over x squared is just x plus 1 over x raised to the power of 2 minus 2. So, we can replace this with its equivalent in terms of x plus 1 over x like this. And another thing, if we cube x plus 1 over x, we get something like x cubed plus 3x plus 3 over x plus 1 over x cubed. Now, focusing on these two terms, if we factor out 3, we have 3 multiplied by x plus 1 over x. Now, rearrange some terms a little bit to get x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. And sure enough, we get x plus 1 over x raised to the power of 3 minus 3 multiplied by the quantity x plus 1 over x. So we can replace this expression with its equivalent that consisting x plus 1 over x like this. And now, to simplify this equation, what we're going to do is to replace x plus 1 over x with t. So, our new equation now becomes t cubed minus 3t plus t squared minus 2 plus t equals 28. What we're going to do here is to replace all of this x plus 1 over x with t. All right. Now, let's combine like terms. So, t cubed, then let's have t squared. We have negative 3t. And then plus t, we have negative 2t. And then subtract 28 on both sides. So negative 2 minus 28 is negative 30 equals 0. Now let's focus on this equation. Now one thing to notice if, is if we let t be equal to 3, this is just 0. Now here is what I'm going to say. We have 3 cubed is 27 plus 3 squared is 9, 27 plus 9 is 36, minus 6 is 30, 30 minus 30 is 0. Now, it follows that t minus 3 is a factor of this cubic polynomial. In short, if we factor this out using some factoring techniques that we know, we factor this out as t minus 3 multiplied by t squared plus 40 plus 10 equals 0. Now, since x here is a real number, so t is a real number also. Now, getting the discriminant of this quadratic equation, t squared plus 40 plus 1, uh, plus 10, if we get the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, b here is 4, we have 16, b squared is 16, minus 4 times a times c, 4 times 1 times 10, or we have negative 40, 16 minus 40, d is negative 24. Since the discriminant is a negative number, in short, we don't get a real value of t in this quadratic equation. So, the only equation that will give us a real value of t is when t minus 3 equals 0 or t equals 3. Now, let's focus on this result, t equals 3 and t equals x plus 1 over x because we want x and not t. So, let's replace this t with 3. Now, let's solve for the value of x. First, multiply all terms with x. So, we have 3x equals x squared plus 1. Rearrange some terms a little bit. Equate this to 0. And now, we have x squared minus 3x plus 1. Let's focus on this. And what we're going to do is to use quadratic formula to find the value of x because this is not factorable. 
So using the quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus square of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. a here is 1, the coefficient of x squared. b here is negative 3. And c is positive 1. Now let's replace all a with 1. And replace all b with negative 3. And replace all c with positive 1. Now let's simplify. Negative of negative 3 is positive 3. Negative 3 squared is positive 9. 9 minus 4 is 5. And there you have it. So we found two real values of x that satisfies our equation. We have 3 plus square root of 5 over 2 or 3 minus square root of 5 all over 2. And this is our answer to this question. Therefore, given this equation, wherein x is a real number, then we found that x are 3 plus square root of 5 over 2 or 3 minus square root of 5 all over 2. And this is our answer to this question. And as always, we are done.